Hello all, welcome to day 3 of uh, 100 days of machine learning. So in this uh, episode we will try to look in the different topic. So we start with natural language processing. Let's, just taking a slight shift here. Just Let's take a quick look on the other aspect. Uh, image uh, processing. So uh, it will be like quick overview on like what is image processing, what are some of the things which we should start learning in, in, the, in the beginning of when we are starting to understanding image processing. So fundamentally the digital image manipulation can be classified into three categories. One is image processing, image analysis and the third one is image understanding. So image processing means you provide an image as input and you get another image as the output. At the same time the image analysis means you put an image inside or image as an input, take some measurement out from the things which appear inside that image. So that is a objective image analysis. So there are many use cases you can think about what it should be an image analysis uh, doing based on what industry you are working right now. Uh, the third is like image understanding. You provide an image as input, you get a high level description out. If like say probably say like. Um, you take get cat or, uh, or dogs out or saying like uh, this is the particular region which is out of interest for you like segmentation kind of use cases can be considered as image understanding. So these are the three fundamental areas where mostly the di digital image manipulation which we typically work under the purview of machine learning and image data. So let's formally define what what, what is an image. So an image is always defined in the real world as, as, a, as a function of two real variables. Uh, for example, amplitude of x, y, which means amplitude or the brightness of an image in a, in a real world coordinate position x and y. Um, so, and this x and y com, uh, intersection point will be typically be referred as a pixel, which you will look in the next slide. So, within this image, real world coordinate of uh, coordinate to be a function of two real variables which we defined just now. So there may be like sub regions uh, which will be available within these images. Uh, we refer those sub regions as ROI or region of interest or, or region which is a very 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 uh, specific term in image processing. Sometimes when you do certain image um, analysis basically to get the certain measurements uh, so we, we may be pretty pretty much interest only in certain regions of image. Um, specifically in the understanding perspective, sometimes we may be less try to get certain area region of interest only as a result of image understanding process also. So a 2D image amplitude of coordinate x, y is will be typically divided into n rows and m columns. Uh, the intersection of a row and column it typically refer it as a pixel that is what we refer it as 10 megapixel 20 megapixel kind of uh, kind of pixel notation which we hear in in the digital gadget so in the most of the cases the amplitude of x x y um, that's a physic, uh, physical physical um, uh, uh, signal um, uh, in a 2D sensor, okay, that that is actually a function of many variables, including like depth, sometimes uh, denoted with the uh, symbol Z, Z, the color lambda, and time. So if you look into the example, you can see like the rows and columns in the images are given here. So columns and rows, and this particular value in a particular fix, pixel will be amplitude of x and y co to coordinate with the depth. Um, the color and the time which corresponds to that. So that's what pretty much how we look into the image uh, uh, basically in the image processing world. Okay, so there will be depth associated, always the image will be associated with depth. So typically in the, in the, in the, in the uh, when we deal with an RGB image, the depth will be always three kind of things. So the number of color uh, sequences will be more uh, uh, all this information will be the time pattern we will discuss in detail when we come to uh, the part of um, uh, Fourier transform how Fourier transforms can uh, can be applied in image image processing etc okay 
so uh, this is pretty much a quick introduction about what uh, we are going to start in, in, the, in, the, in the image processing front okay so stay tuned I'll be coming up with uh, more topics related to say image processing natural language processing and general machine learning um, thank you very much please subscribe to my channel thank you